Hello, I'm Mario, and I'm over here camping at Somerville Lake, and that's in Texas. And the campgrounds that I'm at is a COE, so they accommodate uh, RVs and suit my RV lifestyle pretty well. And so, yeah, I mean, it seems like there's some other full-time RVers uh, also in the area, but the lake is nice, and it's definitely warmer. But at any rate, so today's video, is all about it's maybe not it's not all about me getting a new microphone for doing my video recording the main objective I should say is I have to go pick up a new microphone that I ordered on Amazon Prime so it is currently at an Amazon storage locker Amazon hub locker I think is what they call it and I'm, yeah, I'm just driving around the lake here, man. It's awesome. <laughs> I, I really like this. Sorry, if I got uh, I got sidetracked there. Yeah, so that's kind of what the what this is about. It's about you know how do I fit in getting something custom like an um, you know a special equipment like a microphone or something. How do I fit that into my uh, daily living if I'm full time RVing and driving all over the place and so Amazon Prime is one option and so yeah I'm gonna I want to go into also kind of uh, what I've been de dealing with with the microphones and uh, which microphones I've been using and so I might also try to get a car wash in so I'm not necessarily gonna film myself every little detail of the car wash but the idea is I want to try to fit in a couple more chores while I head into town. So it's probably about, I don't know, maybe 30 minutes each way. So I want to make the trip to the uh, hub locker worthwhile. So I did some recon using uh, Google Maps actually on my laptop. I found one car wash. Seems like it should work out. So I'm just, I just have my pickup truck. I need to wash the... Uh, I need to wash the RV, the, the Geo Pro travel trailer also. Um, but if, so I'm going to go scope this one out. But as I'm driving, I'm going to keep an eye out. Maybe I missed an opportunity for a car wash in, um, and wasn't in uh, Google Maps. So, all right. I'll see you in a second. All right, so I got out of the campground. That was Rocky Creek Campground. And... So with these new tires, these they're kind of like mud terrain tires. The road noise is kind of loud, and so I need a good microphone for while I'm recording in here. And I'm doing about 62 miles per hour. Got the windows up, you know, the fan on the, uh, you know, the ACs on low and that sort of stuff. But uh, yeah, there's a lot of cabin noise, and it, it, you know, it's it's been difficult for me to edit that out of the actual uh you know the production and so the microphone i'm using right now i don't know if you notice i got i have a lapel mic and this one isn't so bad um but what i don't like about it is for one i have two different battery i have a battery source for the actual field recorder and then i have another battery source for the microphone itself it's it's a wireless mic and I have issues with it, uh, you know, maybe uh, wireless mics have issues on their own with interference and that sort of stuff, you know, uh, radio interference. But then um, the other thing is, is that sometimes I get uh, clipping because the actual connection where the microphone hooks up to the, uh, to the transmitter, sometimes that gets jittery, I don't know, it kind of... So it's a handful to deal with is what I'm getting at. And I'd rather not use this. And so what you may have seen me doing is using the microphone on the GoPro. And what I've been using is kind of like a shotgun mic, meaning it kind of is recording directly in front of the camera or directly to the rear of the camera. And I've been using that on one of the GoPros that I have. And that is a, uh, it's a GoPro product. And it's a GoPro media mod that they had for the, I think the Hero 8s. 
And so, at any rate, I've been using that. Um, but you might have noticed that the quality, the sound quality, it just isn't there. And that has its own drawbacks also. So, all right, long story. I'm heading to pick up something new. And yeah, I ordered it on Amazon. And I was having trouble finding um, the type of product that I wanted and have it delivered to me. So there's a company called B&H Photo. And, you know, that's the place that I would shop regularly. Maybe not regularly, the but... The street, turn right. Maybe not shop there regularly, but uh, the point is, is that they had what I needed. I've used them before. You know, I go to them for these kind of, uh, you know, niche type products. And, uh, but yeah, I didn't call them. And so maybe they could have accommodated shipping, which is something interesting. But what I ended up doing was I maybe settled. I, I didn't really pick up the product that I really wanted, but there's a product made by Zoom. I'm going to go pick that up at the, at the Amazon locker. So I was using my Amazon Prime uh, account. I was able, I think that's, I'm, so I'm not an expert on Amazon or anything. I'm, I've, I've been doing, I've been living full time in the RV for, um, well, since January. So it's mid October now. So whatever the math is on that, it's been a while. But um, what I'm getting at here is that I don't, I don't normally use Amazon and I didn't start using Amazon until, well, maybe the middle of last year, 2020. So I'm really not an expert on this, but I, I have used the uh, hub locker a couple of times. And what was a struggle for me, I'm going to go ahead and make this right turn because the navigation is going to start squawking. But the reason why I'm running on and on about this Amazon hub locker thing is that um, it took a little getting used to understanding how to really exploit it and use it for what it's worth. And so I'm still learning about that. So that's why I wanted to, you know, put that out there that I'm not an expert by any stretch. But uh, what I noticed is, is that I can go into, you know, if I put an item in the cart, this is how I do it. I put an item in the cart and then I go to checkout and then instead of having like 17 items in the cart, I just have the one item that I really, really want to get. And so you can have, actually you can have a bunch of items in the cart and then but I only check off one item that I want to ship. And then so I go into to actually the process of checking it out and then go into the area where I would edit and see if um, I would edit the shipping location and see if there's an availability for the Amazon hub locker. So underneath my addresses that I have saved, then I'll have a, um, there'll either be an option to use the hub locker or there wouldn't. And then I can go in there and then I can search for one in the area that I'm at. So it's not really, Amazon Prime doesn't really set it up so that, uh, you know, specifically to accommodate people traveling all over the United States. Um, so it's, there's kind of some little hoops that you got to jump through and, but at any rate, it works out pretty good. And I, and I do a similar thing, like with Newegg is one example, where Newegg.com, um, they offer a similar thing through uh, UPS. So not USPS, not the post office, but UPS, if there's a UPS store, um, they can ship to that. And so the first thing I look for is I want to see who's the seller. And if it's Amazon themselves, if it's an Amazon Prime object, then I'll look at each object that I want, each item, and analyze it one at a time to see if it's available to ship to a locker. So it's kind of a process. I wish I had some, uh, some visuals for you. But, uh, so that's what I'm doing. And now I'm driving out there. I got about, uh, I don't know, about 20 miles to go to get there. And I'll be scanning and looking for a, uh, looking for a car wash while I'm, 
on the way. Now, one thing I did notice is they have a bakery right next to the uh, the gas station where this locker is at, and uh, the bakery also sells beef and sausages and <laughs> stuff like that. So I'm defrosting my refrigerator right now in the RV. So my cooler is totally packed up. So the cooler, the refrigerator I have in my truck. So I, but I think I, I should have room for something like a, I don't know, maybe a ribeye steak. I don't know, something. But I'm going to check that place out and, uh, and the car wash. But yeah, main objective is get the, uh, is get this microphone so you guys can hear me. All right, see you in a sec. I noticed this car wash is uh, kind of in route, so I just want to swing by. I'm, I haven't made it over to the uh, to the Amazon hub locker yet, but I wanted to swing by this car wash to see what it looks like. Here it is here, right here on the left. I wonder Driving if... at the H car wash on the left. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's tall enough for the uh, for the RV. I don't use the brushes for the truck. That's kind of what I wanted to see was what the clearance was. Yeah, my uh, my RV wouldn't clear this. I should have brought my little uh, laser measure, tape measure thingy, but I can tell it's not going to work for the RV. And that's a shame. The brushes actually look uh, good enough to use. Okay, onward to the Amazon locker, and then uh, I'd like to try out the microphone, and then go to that bakery, see what's inside that store. Well, here's downtown Brenham. We got little knickknack shops and stuff like that. Kind of neat little town. Little old town USA. I don't see a brewery though. That would be nice. I wonder if this is the county seat. Oh, I got somebody. It's a courthouse there. All right. Now, next stop, Amazon Locker. I wanted to see what this place was like. Three feet, arrive at Amazon Locker Chapel Hill, Texas, on the right. All right, well, I just managed to blow by the, uh, the right-hand turn. I didn't want to slam on the brakes. But the bakery's right here, so that's awesome. And then I just remembered that I did not bring a micro SD card for the microphone because it has a built in recorder, right? And uh, yeah, so I could try to pull one of the micro SDs out of one of the GoPros that I have and give that a go. But the issue there is, well, I can't, my fingers are too fat to, <laughs> to get the SD card out uh, without, without uh, some tweezers. So let's go inside here and check out this bakery. I believe the name of this place is Chappelle Hill, or maybe Chapel Hill. Anyway, they got a bakery, a deli, and uh, they sell barbecue stuff here. So you can get food. There's uh, room over here to park a truck. But yeah, let's uh, let's head inside and see what this place is like. So I don't, I'm not using the lapel mic, but I'm gonna I'm using the uh, the GoPro's media mod. But I'm gonna switch it around to the rear microphone now. Well, they got some uh, some music playing, so hopefully I can uh, get some audio and everything going on. But let's check it out. This place looks like a pretty cool place. Huh. Barbecue on the left, bakery on the right. 
And it looks like all their beef is frozen. Let's see what they got for sausages. Oh, oh wait a minute, I spoke too soon. The pork chops here. Some beef sirloins. Oh, there's a ribeye there. They got like strawberry preserves, cherry preserves, salsa, stuffed olives, pickled garlic. Looks like lemon meringue, coconut cream, chocolate cream, pecan. Oh my gosh. All right. And if you just want some food, they got barbecue on the other side. This place is jumping. First up, what do I have? Uh, venison sausage so i think this stuff's just keep it chilled and chow down on this oh my gosh and then uh i got one angus ribeye so it looks like it's vacuum packed it's not frozen but yeah it's already seasoned all right so here's some uh salsa it says five amigos i don't know fire roasted pepper salsa this looks awesome. I don't know that I'm be able to eat the whole jar before, I don't, you know. <laughs> I don't normally buy stuff like this because I don't have any place to store it once I open it. But uh, I have to think, I have to plan this one out. Think of some recipes. But yeah, this one's, uh, so if anybody has any ideas, uh, hint, hint on some recipes. But anyway, I got some salsa. And yes, I went a little overboard. And uh, blueberry, cream cheese yeah that's i don't know if i'll be able to eat that whole thing either but uh okay so i went a little crazy i went i splurged shoot me i think what i'm going to do is walk over to the uh to the gas station it's right next door here but i got to go out on the highway so uh so wish me luck Okay, I don't think I stepped in anything undesirable and I made it over here. And uh, yeah, I just gotta figure out where their uh, lockers are. Oh, they, I think I see them, they're right out front here. So I just gotta look at the email and get the code that Amazon sent me. Okay, well scanning the thing didn't work so I gotta punch it in. It looks like it's totally empty. So there it is, the Zoom F2 BT. And I guess the BT is for Bluetooth. And it doesn't look like it's in too bad a shape. I probably would have preferred not having the Bluetooth. It came with batteries. So I got a couple wind socks, a lapel clip. I don't know what this is. I guess this is the unit. That's the unit. And I guess this is the actual microphone here. And then it has the little uh, screw lock mechanism. So what I'll do is um, when I get back to the trailer, I'll go ahead and try to get this uh, new microphone up and running so that you guys can, uh, I don't know. <laughs> I, it's probably more for me than, than for you guys to distinguish the difference, but, uh, but I'm eager to, to try and test it out. But yeah, I'm gonna swing by the, uh, swing by the car wash. Uh, there won't be much filming of the actual car wash, but I also wanna check and see, uh, 
see if there's a restaurant. So the, uh, were, I'm glad I went through town. Uh, as I got out of town, Blue Bell Dairy was right there, like where they make ice cream. And they were, I guess you can go in and have a tour of the place too. So I don't know, between the, so I, I, I almost ate the whole darn uh, blueberry sweet roll thing. Oh my gosh. But, uh, but I do, I should probably try to get some actual food. So I'm gonna see what time these restaurants open. There were a couple in town. I'm gonna go do the car wash and then check on the restaurants and then, uh, and then back to the RV. Now that I got it soaked down, I'll just go over it with my uh, microfiber cloth. And then the, the lower half, I'll grab another, another cloth. The hardest part is getting the roof nest clean. I need to go after that front end there with some, uh, I don't know, some one-step cleaner wax or something. Not perfect, but good enough for the girls I date. All right, $4 in quarters, I think it, did the job I would say that the um, the ceramic coat has I'm, I'm glad I did it I don't know if it necessarily paid for itself but it's definitely added a lot of convenience when it comes to washing a truck I'm leaving the car wash but uh, I think I'm ready for some dinner and I'm thinking uh, Mexican food sounds pretty good it's been uh, been a while since I've had some some really good Mexican food so I'm gonna I'm gonna hit up a joint that has um, well they sell Mexican coke and also first left on Martin Luther King Jr. Parkway then take the first left okay I'll do that I got it in the navigation but yeah they sell Mexican coke and they also sell jaritos I think is how you say it so anyway it's just bottled soda and so um, Turn left at the traffic light. Yeah, when, when I see that on the menu, and I don't know, I looked at the place, so I'm gonna judge it by the uh, by the soft drinks they sell. Uh, not that I'm gonna order any of the soft drinks, but uh, I, I think they have margaritas there too. So I might have one of those. Turn left on West Main Street. I think this is it right here. Oh man, no parking. Well, no parking is a good sign. Arriving at 409 West Main Street, on the left. I don't think it's even been two minutes and I got green and red salsa, chips, top shelf margarita, and a menu. All right, I went with the verde enchilada. So that's chicken. I like it, very good. And the plate, yes, it's very hot. And it, it did not come out very quickly. So that's impressive. All right, so that was awesome. Uh, the food was great. The plate came out piping hot. So I, I usually I can touch it with the tip of my finger and kind of move the plate around. No, no, no. The plate was hot. And uh, anyway, super good. Margarita. Um, so they use classic recipe with triple sec and lime. And using the classic recipe, it was, uh, it was done very well. Very well. And uh, yeah, so I'm pretty happy. Very productive day. And um, yeah, so uh, heading back home to the RV. Gonna go uh, back to the Army Corps of Engineers uh, campground and 
I'll see you in a second. I made it back to the RV and it's actually been a couple of days. So yesterday I spent the day editing this video and today I got a little bit of wind here so hopefully that's not too much on this microphone. But yeah, I'm, now I'm able to uh, to test this thing out. I went ahead and downloaded the software and um, I was happy to find out the software wasn't that big a deal. It just it, It's not like you have to install it, it's just an executable and uh, allows you to interface uh, with this device. I did try to update the firmware um, because it, it did seem to kind of, uh, the, the screen would lock up. I mean, you'd change a setting and then the screen would lock up and I had to restart everything. But so, I don't know, there's a couple little glitches, but I was able to play around with the settings, get the thing working, and now I'm testing it here. So uh, yeah, I'm holding it in my hands. I guess I can clip it to the belt, I don't know, maybe the back here. All right, well I got it clipped on there and yeah, so this is this is pretty nice to have the entire thing here. So we'll have to see how it works. This will be my first uh, test of actually using the audio and you know, I don't know, we'll, we'll have to see. <laughs> Time will tell. Uh, it wasn't cheap and so I'm hoping it'll work. I'm hoping I can maybe buy a nice microphone and use that in place of the one that in place of the microphone that came with it. So we'll see. And uh, I'm going to, I'm getting ready. I got my grill right there. It's kind of out of the camera, but it's right there. I'm getting ready to, uh, I'm going to cook up that steak. So, man, I'm looking forward to that. Yes. And the jerky, I did try the jerky, the venison. That's, it's good. So, I've been pretty, I was pretty happy with that trip that I made to town. And uh, I might even go back there to that store, maybe go for some barbecue. So, all right, so this is it. I'm back here. It's a bright, sunny day. Like I said, the wind kind of picks up here and there. And I've got a couple more nights here. So I'm looking forward to it. And uh, yeah, so I'll see you guys in the next video. And take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye. <music>